T- Tiny Tim's Finger Brigade. I don't, I don't oh, fucking know. Oh, no, Timmy Taps. Tim, Timmy Taps, <laughs> yes. Yes. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vince Stone. Here at LGC Axe, we're switching the bits in our little Linux powered studio. And that swaying young man up top there, that is one Jordan Spong joining us live from the beautiful downtown. You're not in downtown Toronto, but you're Toronto downtown adjacent, kind of. We squint. <laughs> yeah, see? No, I, 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 <laughs> it's within I, I, driving I, I, distance. <laughs> m- m- much, li- much like Billy Joel, I am an uptown girl. I've been living in my white bread worlds in uptown Toronto. Yes. <laughs> sure. And Pedro <laughs> Mateus on the Isle of Britannia, staying up late past his bedtime together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Yeah. Two canes. Two can. Two cans for two canes. Could we like two can Voltron? Do you think that would work out? It, yeah, we just need to add like a giant toucan beak to cocaine Voltron and it's toucan Voltron. I'm we just, might need some ballast at the bottom to I'm so scared scared from some fruit loops. Terrified. I'm a little bit scared <laughs> by the time we we finish with the Voltron, by the time we hand it to the printer, I'm like, I'm, nah, man. I, I'm, I'm just imagining that, that bit from The Simpsons where it's like, ah, Polly shouldn't be. <laughs> the, the bird with the octopus tentacles. <laughs> that could be a thing. That could be a thing. What have you guys been up to, man? I, I know uh, we're going to be talking about it this episode. Might as well. Might as well be called um, Steam Deck Cast because we're going to be talking a lot about the Steam Deck because it kind of De- decks out for Harambe. Decks yep. out for Harambe, baby. <laughs> outside of ingesting that, outside of ingesting that, have you been lifting anything new, Jordan? No. Well, so actually, I, I was gonna, I was gonna talk about that. Yeah, I've been for the past couple of weeks, I've been trying a different load management strategy for powerlifting, and it's working pretty well. My knees feel amazing. They don't feel like they're gonna explode constantly. Um, and yeah, high, high, higher, higher volume. I'm definitely feeling a lot stronger, and my my ass is definitely increasing in size. I'm 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 coming for you, Cardi B. I'm coming for you. My ass will one day consume yours, like like a like a Pac Man. <laughs> How do you plan on following that, Pedro? Okay, no, uh, I just learned that Jordan plans to get ass implants, but uh, yeah, no, I no, I no, have ass, been it's all, all natural, baby, <laughs> all beef, one hundred percent. No, I've been actually yesterday. I was very happy playing um, Elden Ring while everyone else was uh, claiming that it wouldn't work and EAC the module would fail to load right off the bat, and I'm like, uh, okay, the performance is a bit shit, but I, I can play. It it's okay. It, I can actually play it. <laughs> so yeah, and, that, and, and that's so what I've been are doing. Are you sucking at it? Yes, uh, very much. Uh, I've been doing what everyone else seems to be doing, which is ooh, that's a big thing. Let's run away from it because have have, well, have you fought the crab yet? Uh, I've uh, killed one of the crabs, but that's because I got the drop on it and it took away like half of its HP. Uh, but yeah, no, when they pop out of the yes, swamp, why with not? No- why can't I be a clackety? <laughs> <laughs> why, why shouldn't I be <laughs> with the, the fucking tongs? Yes. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, no, it's mostly because the, like the big bosses, they're so strong that my graphics card is afraid of them because the moment they start winding up their attacks, the performance drops like 20 FPS. So I've just been running away from them. It's like not worth As it. As I told <laughs> Pedro in the pre pre super soon, go back and listen to that if you're a patron. Um, I was ecstatic that everyone that I normally follow on Twitch is streaming the, what is it? The Elden Rings? Elden Ring, yep. Yeah. Because Gustavo not, Fring. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'll never play the game like willfully, but uh, because, I mean, it's a Dark Souls. Let's roll around in circles and drink shit. And uh, I mean, if you enjoy that rhythm game, more power to you. Also, for anyone complaining about performance issues, it's a game from PC port from a Japanese developer. Day one release. You get what you get. Now, <laughs> I was very happy, though, because everyone quit streaming Horizon Ginger Turbo 2 which I do care about. And I look forward to playing in two to four years or whenever they get around. I want them to surprise me and like drop that next month or two, but they won't because it's like exclusive content, isn't it? PS4. 
PS5. P- uh, P- PS4 PS5. and PS5. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's actually cheaper if you get the PS4 version and then upgrade to the PS5 version. <laughs> pro tip. Um, oh, yeah. I saw something about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pro, pro tip, by the way, if uh, if any of y'all are uh, looking to pick that up. Yeah, no. It's but it's generally like at least with Epic Games, it's what a year of exclusivity before it moves over for Sony. I don't know what their strategy is going forward because they kind of just like said, oh, yeah, we're, we'll, we'll investigate this PC thing. And now that everyone loved God of War, they're like. Yeah, we should probably do more of this yeah, PC show. Yeah, I'm wondering more that. <laughs> Not playing with anything terribly new. I did get those um, Mellanox Connect X3 fiber cords that were like $20, $28 a piece. They came in. They were legit. They weren't like Melanox or something like that. So, <laughs> Nellanox. Nellamox. Something sketchy as hell. I'm like, right. That's uh, So, yeah. That, that was pretty good. They're running in the boxes right now. Mm, I haven't had any problems with them, so... Yours kind of scared me, the one I put in your box, because I booted up, and Debian's like, what card? I don't see no card, man. What are you talking about? And I'm like, lovely. Well, that, and again, they were like $20 a piece, so what's the thought? I'm like, well, one of them doesn't work. I, That's fine. I, 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 hope, I hope the problem is that the PCI slot on the motherboard was bad. That was... <laughs> they were cheap enough I hope I care. didn't plug it in right. <laughs> I hope I plugged it into my memory slot, just like Started the Curse of the Raven's Cry. Everything was fine. It's, so yeah, all right. Good times. No problem. Rebooting finally solved a problem in Linux. Rebooting, yeah. man. Something I got to walk around. And I went ahead and cleaned all the optics, so I stubbed all the uh, fiber holes with my network stubber. That was a, I guess, cathartic. If you like clicky, noisy nonsense, like you, you, you do that with uh, with clicky pens. Uh, it's a stabby pen. Ah. It's yeah. It's, it's got a little bit. It, you just stab, stab. That's all you do. Preferably, I mean, I could let you loose, man. You'd eventually get it. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. that's what I'm saying, man. It could be stabbed like that. <laughs> but we'd never stab the horse. No, because you, you you can't stab it anymore. It's a gelatinous mass. You need to, like, spoon it into your mouth like jello. Don't spoon it's the, the horse. Let it update Yeah. So, uh, February 25th was yesterday at time of recording. And so confirmation emails have been going out for the steam deck. Oh the my what? God. It's that. Oh, it's only five it's dollars. Thing. I'll take two. Yeah. It's, it's that <laughs> thing. We're not going to shut up about this episode, but yeah, I hope you still have the script. Um, cause if not, you got three days to get that money together, uh, to complete your ordering process or else that steam deck that you were dreaming about is going to somebody else. Um, yeah, apparently they're yeah apparently they're breaking up in terms of the uh, the model types. So like the the cheaper Steam decks are getting out uh, sooner rather than later, much to Pedro's chagrin. I mean, I did get one of the cheaper ones, but uh, yes, despite it saying Q one, apparently I wasn't in the first batch because they were saying that my Steam account wasn't old enough to uh, get one, despite it being sixteen years old. Valve, but yeah, it's yeah, not eighteen. It, <laughs> where i'm from 16 uh makes it um legally responsible for the end of the day what we're looking at is uh yeah those notification emails they went out on friday maybe you got lucky maybe you got to celebrate you got to have some fun with it but we got to point out that 72 hours shit gets real right there immediately so because i'm it's valve time ticker though man so you could probably be like wait a month and hit valve back up and be like, no, I just got this email. Valve's like, fuck, they got us on this one. We don't have, um, we didn't. I, I feel bad for people who got the money, who are like transferring money from like accounts in their banks. Mm-hmm. And they got the, they got the email late in the afternoon. And now they got to wait like two fucking whole business days for the, for the money to transfer. <laughs> like that's, that's gotta be rough. <laughs> well, they did bring up like the reason we didn't start shipping them over the weekend. They looked into logistics and like, no, it'll be better if we push, start pushing them out Monday. So I look forward to, um, actually seeing these in the hands of people who are going to March 7th them, right? is the next round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about some of the people who have their hands on them currently. Later. Well, then you can check your deck. <laughs> For spots? No, but you can check your library on the deck while you wait. Uh, valve. But yes, no, the Valve did actually release the uh, check your library for Steam Deck verified status. They released their own page because they're, everyone was making their own. Steam DB uh, basically started tracking that. And then everyone started 
just pulling out of steam DB and creating their own sites to do it. I wouldn't get that just because of the way they spelled vampire. That's like they got edge Lord written all over it. Vampire. Yeah. It, I, there I there's that a lot of edgy okay. stuff in that game actually, <laughs> but it is, uh, yeah, it's the official valve way and you get, you get the breakdown between it's verified, it's playable and it's, uh, unsupported. There's a lot of the unsupported ones that are Valve is claiming that they're still actively working to try to fix it. So that's good. That's very good. Yeah. Early, but, early, uh, earlier in the yeah. week, I was, I was surprised to see Ultimate Chicken Horse on the list, but because like we've been playing that for years with a controller. Mm-hmm. In, 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 fa- in fact, I'm it guessing works worse if you try to use a keyboard. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm guessing it has something to do with the Unity screen of nope. Probably. Yes. <laughs> You don't speak it in like, I want to see people sitting down and playing this just on their own people that I follow. Like, I want to see how God of War really runs on the deck with all the options cut down to like, that smear is, yes, that guy. And <laughs> it's, it's, it's smear mirror. We were talking about this reasonable expectations, you know? Hey, yes, yeah. you're not going to be able to cut everything on 11. And no, no. <laughs> at max resolution and expect great battery life or great performance, but finding that nice, happy middle ground, I think there's an opportunity to have like some type, I, I what type of shim do you think could be involved? In like pre-configured settings, like deck settings, well, uh, deck approved. I, I, you I don't wouldn't know, have to sit and go through every fucking little thing. And so that they, so they have it for save files, right? Like if you tell, if theoretically, like if you told steam, like the location of like the, the, the settings folder or whatever, you could, you could like sync that or genericize that in a way that like people could share their settings. I, I brought up something similar uh, a while ago. Cause yeah, absolutely. Like you said, people are going to be tinkering. People are going to be trying to figure out like how to squeeze the most out of their decks. Mm-hmm. They got to, they got to squeeze it very gently though. You can't squeeze it a little too hard. Otherwise uh, you get some, uh, you get some problems there, but um. I don't know. All of this is probably better than, you know, like installing windows on your deck. <laughs> uh, the, one, 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 once those drivers show up, uh, well, you know what? Go, go, go. Yeah. That's, uh, w- that's what we've been hearing. All of the mainstream media YouTubers going, ah, we'll test it again. Once the windows drivers are out and we can actually do what we usually do. Well, good luck with that. And, um, not just them, but also Gog of all people decided that there's no official GOG support for the Steam Deck, but since the device has an open architecture as we understand, you can install Windows and as such can run GOG games. Now this comes because Metal point- Jesus, you might have heard of him, YouTuber. He wrote, mm-hmm. he's like, hey man, upcoming Valve Steam Deck. Is it even possible? Um, for GOG, this is a fair question, especially coming, boom, This is we're going to get more and more of this. Somebody who's just unfamiliar with this Linux thing, I'm like, well, there should be a GOG. There's a Steam. Why isn't there a GOG? Uh, he says, I'll be reviewing it for YouTube. And he's curious, you know, for like retro gaming and God games and stuff like that. And to what Pedro is just saying, and God's like, yeah, just put windows on it, bro. Right? <laughs> right? And then out from and the then, distance, of course. there comes a French man. <laughs> Installing, Installing windows. windows. Yeah. <laughs> you want to take it, Pedro? Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, Installing Dude, windows you is do your not best, a requirement. Uh, Oh, okay. Hold on. Installing Windows is not a requirement to install and play GOG games on Linux. And installing Windows on a Steam Deck is not recommended. Uh, If you decide not to support Linux devices, others are willing to do it for you. You do not have faith in Linux. We do. (laughs) Get him, Frenchie. Get him, Frenchie. (laughs) I pissed someone off with that. <laughs> I was about to say Pedro at LinuxGameCast.com. If you want to know. Now, you know what? It is, it's going to be fun watching particular companies have to double down on their ZoMG Linux bad stance that they've had for all this time, which I've never understood. I've never understood having like seething hatred for a different operating system. And I've said that multiple times. I don't give a problem. If you don't want to support Linux, come out and be like, yeah, I don't want to fucking deal with Linux. Cool. Go your way, I got mine. Don't fucking come out and be like, Linux is stupid, it'll never work, and all that fun stuff. You're like, fuck you, man. Seriously, just like, <laughs> don't support it and keep your mouth shut. Like this social media person from GOG should have fucking done, because, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, that social media human could have went and like, oh, and that would have been an end of that. But no, 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 I had to take that little swipe and be like, put Windows on your deck. Have fucking fun with that experience. <laughs> or, or or even like we're investigating the possibility of supporting it. That's like a good PR friendly non-committal answer. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. 
Well, here's the thing. Do you think somebody, okay, nothing against Metal Jesus. Uh, if you're young, don't know about it, he's been YouTubing for a decade. And um, I'm not 100%, like, somebody who's going to ask that type of question might not be the type of person you want to trying to install an operating system in the first place, be it Windows or Linux. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, and it's a nascent platform. It, it It's like a whole new thing with an entirely different operating system than what people are used to. You have the chance to actually get it on the ground floor and, you know, make a buttload of money on your competitor's platform. No, no, let's, oh yeah, just install Windows. Hey, so here, 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 here's, here's the other thing too, is GOG would very much like you to forget very quietly that they had anything to do with Linux period. Because for a while, they were like, yeah, we're going to bundle wine with Windows games and you can buy them on Linux and we're still going to sell them to you. Oh, we're going to support Linux versions, although the developers need to email us a copy of the thing because we're mm-hmm. not going to actually And add we're going an to make the process as excruciating as possible so that most of them don't yeah. even bother. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, so like, the, the, and, and, and then like the, 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 the sheer erasure of like any sort of Linux, anything resembling knowledge of Linux with, with galaxy stuff. Yeah. Don't it, it, it's, it's, I, I don't, I don't know. We're, we're, I'm, I'm too close to it, right? Like we're too close to it for someone, for someone who has been watching Gog do this over time. This is, this is upsetting for someone who doesn't fucking know anything about that. They're just like, mm-hmm, which makes this FUD a lot it, more. Insidious. I think it's more upsetting to them because they're like, why doesn't this, why doesn't galaxy work? on the steam deck that's all they fucking care about like this is my pc yeah. why don't you have a program mm-hmm. for my pc handheld pc that i bought like you need to install the operating it's wrong fucking crowd i bought this thing to play video games where's the thing to download yeah, this is the video, video game, game yeah. machine right and i can't play your video games the fuck <laughs> i look forward to the pirate bay windows isos of like windows for deck that oh, are just like 90 percent s- crypto miner <laughs> All the malware, so many Steam accounts hijacked. <laughs> mm, mm, uh, it's it, it's it's gonna be fun, but people are getting their hands on it. Uh, journalist, or let me let me let me rephrase. Journalists, because journalists aren't people. Says the journalist. Um, <laughs> journalist. Um, yeah, people people have been getting their hands on uh, on the, the Steam Deck, and or and except this this guy from uh, Tech Radar, um, Il- 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 Ilias Ka- Kanapiov. I'm mispronouncing his name, but he says I won't buy a Steam Deck until Valve fixes these issues. A.K.A. I won't buy a Steam Deck until Valve sends me a free one. But yeah, mm-hmm. he's uh, he's talking he's talking about um a lot of the uh, sort of trying to aggregate a lot of the uh, the context of the reviews that are coming out and you know there, there's some there's some valid points in here battery life is gonna suck if you crank everything up to fucking 11 um <laughs> but i mean it's always gonna be a fair complaint especially when you don't have like swappable batteries um the size of the shit thing like i can only feel so bad for the fucking lilliputians who are like trying to hold on to the deck uh, I, I am a large handed individual. I can appreciate a chunky console that i can actually hold in my hands uh the, the switch joy cons are way too small um but there, there's other stuff like game availability the nintendo switch does it better which is a dubious claim i don't know this this entire <laughs> article is it's not very well, well put dubious. together dubious is very nice because there is some outright disingenuous stuff here like several youtube channels such as gamers nexus and the fox have already had the opportunity to test out the steam deck and found that they were only able to get 85 to 90 minutes out of the device before it ran out of juice. Okay, sorry, disingenuous isn't right either. That's just a lie. That's false because, and Gamers Nexus, uh, Steve specifically pointed out the shit clickbait journalism uh, that this article very much seems to be relying on. And the Fox called him out in a much more um, by the by way, but uh, he called him out as well because sensationalism uh, clicks apparently because yes, the lowest that they got was 87 minutes. And yet the Fox also got uh, eight and a half hours out of the deck by playing um, that cells at 30 FPS. So one, one, where's one that thi- reporting? One thing that did, <laughs> that did got brought up that is a legit problem and is going to be a legitimate problem is the rocket league situation. The guy tried to play some, some folks tried to play rocket league on their deck. It downloads the Linux version, the Linux one. Yeah. Yeah. Which, you know, doesn't have online play anymore. Thanks. Epic. Um, don't worry. I'm sure Epic will update it. 
But but like <laughs> that, that 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 is the case for a lot of Linux games where like oh shit, uh, do you think uh, we Steam, can have like Steam, a Linux only uh, Rocket League team now for Steam Decks? <laughs> May, maybe right. <laughs> <laughs> it detects uh, but, but, the but, but, deck, like, uh Jupiter uh SOC and only downloads from that depot if it sees that. <laughs> but but uh, so here, here's the thing though, there are a lot of native Linux games that frankly the Proton version works a lot better. Mm-hmm. Uh or just works period. And uh because the, the, the games just stop working because of dependency issues or whatnot. So when you try to install games like that on your deck, yeah, you're going to get a degraded version, and that's going to be a bad experience. That's going to need to be fixed. So, yeah, I was just going over this article. Um, it read like two parts. Yeah, um, clickbaity, but also it sounded like motherfucker with this a little salty about not getting a review unit. So, <laughs> <laughs> yep, I, I won't be buying it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say this minute, $400. You cannot get a more powerful personal computer, much less a handheld, in today's market. It doesn't exist. This product category, like Steam, has got like a thing, man. That it's half. It's less than half of the actual competing devices. Yeah, like, show the new me a laptop. IMEO. Show me a laptop with these specs for four hundred bucks. <laughs> you well, not even Pedro secondhand can. ones. He's, he's got to dig through. <laughs> That's a dumpster, the thing. But. Not even secondhand ones, because unless you're going to buy like all the bits like I did for that one, then yeah, you'll come out at around 200 ish pounds for a Ryzen 5 laptop that's got the quad core 8 thread with the Vega 10 or Vega 7 in that case. But yeah, the GPU on those is terrible compared to the Steam decks. Mm -hmm. So, eh. (laughs) and the Steam deck comes with a screen and everything else, man. So, yeah. Yeah. Sad noises. Uh, so much for getting your games cheap on deck, though. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. These sad noises, man. Because, you know, Steam sales aren't really special anymore. Why aren't they special? Because shit's always 91, 95% off. I mean, every other week, and you see the Steam sales, and like, oh, we're 90% off again. And I'm like, oh, I remember the last sale, you guys. The same, and I'm still not buying it. Well, <laughs> policy change, motherfuckers. Yeah. So one of these things is not like the other, and that is you're no longer going to be able to, well, it's just not possible to discount a product by more than 90% or less than 10% anymore. Custom discounts cannot last longer than two weeks or run for shorter than one day. Now, now how much would you pay? Only 90% off answers are correct. I'm wondering what exactly this fixes for Valve, because... Maybe this prevents developers from pumping the price of the game artificially and discounting it by 90% to make it look like a good deal. Or this is Valve going, we've done the maths, and anything under 90% we don't get enough of a cut to fucking bother with, or over 90%, I should say, so it doesn't work out financially for us. Could be both. There's probably some of that. <laughs> Thoughts? But, yeah, I... I guess you can still go under it if you can't do more than 90%. Just make it free because you can do the, the didn't see anything about the uh, making it free for like free to keep. A lot of games do that every now and then. And I, I may be misremembering, but uh, Valve made a change a couple of months ago uh, when it came to changing the release date of your game. And at the same time, they also mentioned that if you wanted to change the price, you could change the price once every three months without anything, and if you wanted to do it more than once uh, for that period of time, you would have to get in contact with Valve. Well, that was also to keep people from bumping their shit to be on the front page because yes. Valve has such a shit <laughs> discovery system. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm thinking that this probably also counts towards the changes uh, that people can do you know, on their own without Valve having to get involved. So that that's probably a way of Valve tampering things and keeping the discoverability for a lot of people that go to the sales. Part there, of, there uh, is the an sales there, page. There, there, is, there is an exception here though. The, the, the four big sales: new, lunar, new year, summer, autumn, and winter will be exempt from uh, this this limitation uh, regarding the uh, the sale cooldown uh, stuff because you know they want you to participate in their big company wide sale. So, yeah. And That's you better be excited be because now you can play Steam on your Chrome OS book pad 
Maybe. Maybe. Sometime. Eventually. This story comes up <laughs> every couple of weeks. At this point, I'm like, shit, or get off the pot. But there's a list. A recent posted code change. Google has introduced an initial list of supported Chromebook models, along with a few extra specs that they need to have to play the Steams on your Chrome. And I'm looking at these. We're talking about the Acer Chromebook 514, 515, the Spin, the Asus Flip, the CX-9, HP Pro 640, the G2. The problem with all of these Chromebooks is these are all fucking Chromebooks that cost as much as a laptop, man. Like Yes. Well, <laughs> they also have the, the, the same the, hardware. <laughs> Yeah, the, the 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 common denominator here is uh, I, the XE Irish Iris graphics, which I mean, like I guess we're we're all interested in the Linux performance, and I'm sure Chrome OS the the Chrome OS to Linux Delta won't be super huge, so it, I don't know. In, I don't know. Wise, I'm so just gonna like maybe I'm out in the field, but I'm saying if your Chromebook has an 11th gen Intel Core i5 or i7 with seven gigabytes of RAM, which is apparently this is like the base requirements, you got a fucking laptop, kid with a nerfed OS on it. So I, I mean, to, to, to that point. Yeah. But like, also I, I can, I can appreciate valve and Google trying to like move PC gaming off of like a purely window centric pro, uh, platform. And like, you kind of need to have support for the other operating systems. The other most popular OS out there is Chrome OS. Pedro's so. going to wave around one of his old ass laptops. Uh, this ah, one is not that old. Yeah. This, this is like like immediately got offensive. <laughs> He loves these things. Uh, think like Pat, uh, X240 that I installed uh, Chrome OS Flex on. And no, it won't get Steam because it doesn't have XE graphics. In fact, it has a Haswell fourth gen processor, despite it being an i7 4600U. It's for the so... best, Pedro. It's for the best. <laughs> you, 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 uh, that you was th- kind of think, the reason uh, why I installed Chrome OS Flex on this. <laughs> You, you, th- you think Google is going to do the, the the model number limit thing on there, or you think they're just going to be like, yeah, you Probably. can install it. Oh, I'm they're going to, gonna... yeah, well, they're I going mean, to set up some here's the more thing. Whatever uh, limitations. It's that's Chrome OS. Like, whatever they put in place will be blown apart in a minute, and, and people will try to run it on every single thing. And then this is going to be a bad experience. It's going to be a bad experience. It's going to be an okay, tolerable fucking experience. We have a thousand dollar Chromebook. But I'm not going to talk to anyone who's a thousand dollar Chromebook. I'm just going to have too many questions for that person because I want to know where they work. Maybe they got a hot, and fresh job because you got to have some money to burden to have an expensive Chromebook in your life. Maybe your work bought it for you. Maybe that's the other thing. I've seen a lot of uh, businesses start handing out Chromebooks. Literally throwing the next story to you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> aperture but, science. <laughs> yeah. Let's 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 talk about your 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 desk jobs, your 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 scrub work hours. Uh, Valve has a free new game for you that's coming out on March first. Aperture desk job, and so it's basically a controller tutorial for the Steam Deck controller, but it's a fun tutorial. You know what? I don't actually val- doubt you. Valve's ability to make it at least <laughs> semi entertaining. You'll probably get at least one sensible chuckle out of it um they they're they're very clear it takes place in the portal universe you might get some fun portal lore but yeah it's not it's not the third portal game it's just a controller tutorial but hey it's demo software that ships with the deck so that you can dick around with it and see what the full steam input integration looks like which is gonna be interesting maybe they're gonna show off some neat stuff and it will be free I don't know. I mean, I'm reading through this and immediately seeing it's not Portal 3 exclamation point. <gasps> Lowered expectations. Why do you have to point that out, Valve? Because immediately it makes me want to start poking around it. It's like, you got some frog fraction bullshit floating around. Is this, is this Portal 3? Is this Portal right, 3? Yeah. Is going to take six months for the internet to find out? Is that going to ha- But Portal 3 is, is embedded in the game. Something yeah. like that, <laughs> right. And... Um, did make me wonder because you and they're very clear you need a controller for this is there an app that does the reverse thing that'll map uh controller inputs to a keyboard that's an excellent question yeah. probably i've never thought about doing Maybe. it the other way around i, I <laughs> it has to be possible like with sdl to maybe or, or like some some yeah. some raspberry pi thing like the like the sarcasm keyboard or whatever right just to like yeah you can, you can, uh, you can uh, in something. Windows, there was uh, X360 CE that you could literally bind um, the reverse. Yeah, just bind could you, uh, could controller you inputs to the keyboard. 
Mm-hmm. Or is that, or is that too much of a spoiler for later in the show? <laughs> Stick around for that. Uh, Cause we need to talk about some retro gaming in 720p in HD, which I just realized valve, you copied something for half-life two. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, this is Vengers, uh, specifically the the old Vengers from 1998. You be brats, uh, have you gotten on your mechos yet? The uh, yeah, they released an update on uh, Tuesday, which was 220222, uh, and yeah, you, what it does, the big thing is 720p. You can go to the options, and where you. you didn't have any graphical uh, resolution options. Now you do. You can pick 800 by 600, which was the default, or 1280 by uh, 720. And the the frame rate is still stuck at 20, but they I didn't make it open mission. source. <laughs> it is open source. So uh, I would like... Uh, Valve, I someone, take issue some, with saying that this is similar to fucking Skyrim and or Witcher. Um, <laughs> it's an open world game. That's what's it what is an RPG driving of. game. Technically, <laughs> like in, 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 in the same way that Zelda and the like the OG Legend of Zelda and the Elder Scrolls Skyrim are quite similar in the sense that mm-hmm. you can walk around and not yes. engage with the main story. <laughs> but yeah, no, I want some endeavorous soul out there to actually get this to run at 30 FPS or maybe 60. Uh, something like that, because yeah, the, those 20 FPS, you notice that you notice that immediately <laughs> on, on, your, on your 1440 yeah. Hertz screen, mm-hmm. yeah. 144 Hertz screen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Teeny tiny, uh, 720p window at, um, 20 FPS. So the big takeaway for <laughs> me is they've improved the stability of the multiplayer mode to which yes. I was like, it's multiplayer. And, but then again, I was reading through the release notes. You're like, yeah, by the way, it has multiplayer, you guys. Okay, maybe we'll try that out a bit later. Um, Only over SPX, though. IPS. Also, SPX. pro tip, if you have any color vision issues, can't play it. Because normally sighted people... Oh, yeah, people, the menu is green on green. Yeah, like, <laughs> oof. It's rough to dig through that. Okay, that's some claymation. Let's go ahead and throw it to some pixelization. Some diggies. Oh, yes. Uh, actual graphics for your dwarf fortress. Uh, the developer is still very much at work at um, getting the Steam version up and running. And the big one is um, finishing the GUI. The, there's a lot of menus that you need to go through. And for a game that didn't really have a GUI, yeah, you're going to have to make one if you're going to be releasing on Steam because you're attracting a whole different crowd at that point. And Man, nothing does a better job of a, at explaining a GUI than a wall of text. It's a text game. What do you expect? <laughs> That's like all they know. Uh, from this post, yeah. not, not more text. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is very much uh, a gargantuan job, especially for Dwarf Fortress, because this game, if you ask people about like, ridiculous video game stories that come out of very simplistic games. This is one of, if not the OG of the modern times. Here, 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 um, here's what you can do. You can go to twitch.tv slash Linux Gamecast, sub to our subscribe to our channel, join our discord and ask a guy named Mir PPC. Tell me about Dwarf Fortress and you will learn all you ever needed oh, yeah. to know about it. <laughs> And uh, yeah, no, I, I could just imagine the rabid fan base that are going to try the Steam version uh, and they're going to discover something that's wrong in one of the uh, menus or something that isn't there. They're just going to go to town because this is also one of those games. This is that one of the things. Anybody, if you're over the base. age of 27, <laughs> you have a Dwarf <laughs> Fortress story. You've probably played it. Uh, Jordan, when is this coming to Linux? Uh Eventually, or so they say, the All Linux right. builds are coming soon. <laughs> Although you can just go download them from the Tor Fortress site. Because while you wait, you, know, you can you know test the wheels on your new Dota hero. Yeah, it's totally not the Rancor, you guys, from Star Wars. Book of Boba Fett, remember? I remember that no, shit? he was in uh, oh. uh, you know, the <laughs> Howard the Duck movie. He was the bad guy at the end. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so the, 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 this this handsome, smiley fellow here is the brand new um, hero that's getting added to uh, Dota and their 7.31 update. Primal Beast! Um, 
yeah, uh, doing the Control F deck or Linux comes up with a big old goose eggs. Uh, but you know, there's a bunch of balance tweaks in here that will no doubt piss off players who actually understand what the fuck they actually mean. Um, like you click the on shit and new everyone screams at you. I've, I know how to play. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, this this one's especially interesting because his main attack will hurt your allies as well as your enemies. So if you want people to scream at you, you absolutely can do that okay. with this guy. Like I excel at that every time I've played Dota, and everyone is just really angry at me. What what what? what MOBA players toxic? No, no they're 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 misunderstood. Mm. I was just playing in the wrong Dota. Yeah, you gotta switch over to Han or League of Legends or um, I guess, man. I don't know. I mean, uh, <laughs> I I'm down for all of this. I like that there's updates and Dota is good for one reason for all of us is it's got Vulcan support and we can use it to test Vulcan. But mm-hmm. you know, if these games are your thing, more power to you. And Dota's free to play too, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. So yeah, just rock on with that. And a new hero, I'm sure people will love it and hate it all at the same time, but. Good job. Uh, it's well. probably going to be like the default choice for a lot of people because it's not going to be balanced and someone's going to find an exploit with it for the next couple of weeks. Yeah. It's, so, either, yeah. it's either going to be balanced <laughs> or grossly underpowered because they're thing, like, oh, though. we don't want to make it too powerful. At the end of the day, a MOBA is going to MOBA. We've established that. But I want to see how this genre works on the deck. How's that going to play out? Is it even going to be possible? Because not only you're dealing with the touch controls, because it's clicking and dragging, you're dealing with a much smaller screen. I think, I think it. I think control-wise, it'll function more like uh, more like the console version of Diablo, where it's just all joystick instead of yes. clicky, and then the abilities are just mapped to the the face buttons. That, I face mean, that's buttons, how I would do yeah. it. Is a Dota but, you know, even approved for the deck? That would be that would be uh, hilarious if Valve's biggest game. Page say? <laughs> if only there was some sort of resource we could nope. we could check it's that playable. we had talked about. Playable, playable. It's okay. playable. Uh, it says game sh- the game sh- uh, sometimes shows mouse, keyboard, or non Steam Deck controller icons. Entering some text requires manually invoking the on-screen keyboard. Valve. Uh, <laughs> some in-game text is small and difficult to read, <laughs> but. For, fortunately, the game, the Valve games people actually care about, Portal, Left 4 Dead, Team <laughs> Fortress, those are the ones that'll work fine on the deck. Uh, speaking enough. speaking of, well, 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 look look what we got here on SteamDB.info. The links to all this stuff is in our show notes. If, creeping on Warhammer 2 Vermintide, or Warhammer Vermintide 2. Well, we see here it's a <laughs> Steam Deck testing branch. Apparently, the the, fo- the folks uh, over, over at Fat Shark have decided, yes, we're going to rebuild our entire game to support the new easy anti-cheat on Proton. <laughs> or they included a library and clicked a box online. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, we 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 called this when they brought it up last time, and then Valve was like, "Yo, this is how you actually enable EAC on uh, on uh, Proton. You don't need to make any modifications." Yeah, no. Someone's like, trying to get uh, certified. <laughs> this has been kind of interesting to watch. I mean, the dominoes are not starting to fall, but the dominoes are starting to tilt a little bit. You're going to see this curiosity because Valve has to absolutely, Valve has done a good job giving developers a fuck around and find out button. Easiest thing to make it friction free, not friction free, but very friction adjacent. So it's lubricated. It is. And I expect <laughs> everybody, at least internally, has pressed that fuck it button, like fuck around and find out. Let's see if this thing is going to work with the steam deck. And, um, you might not have, I, might, been might not ever see the light of day. Right. That's what I'm saying. Internally. <laughs> I, I want to say that. Yeah. But here's the thing. Business wise, smashing that proton button right now for your deck or for your game for the deck doesn't equal sales at the moment. Cause one of the big buying and buy-ins for the steam deck is your back library. The stuff you already yes. own. You get to keep all your games. That doesn't necessarily mean you can be running out and buying brand new games on your Steam Deck. So, like, the ROI might not be as much as we'd like it to be at the moment. Plus, we got to figure out what the install base is really going to be for the deck because, you know, if people you don't a, have it yet. Yeah, you need to extrapolate. Like, you're going to need at least one, two million, you know, say 1.5 mil units in the hands of people before anybody. I would think would put the R and D to start targeting 
the deck like they would have to target a Nintendo Switch or something like that. Something that's going to be optimized for deck, something at that screen size and within that power envelope. But this is a nice little stuff gap. And I understand any company that doesn't want to like, hey, man, we're not going to mess around with uh, enabling EAC Proton and all that. We don't want to deal with like the possibility of the flow over because, you know, they're going to get support issues with that, even though it's not their problem. It's going to show up in their fucking forms. That's just how it's going to work. That's reality. And they understand that. And they know that, you know, they've been selling the game for a minute. But <laughs> what are your thoughts on it, Jordan? Vermintide 2 has been on my list for a while of games I actually really wanted to play, but EAC stops me from playing it with other people, which is like, this, it's like playing single player Left 4 Dead. It It's serviceable, but it's not where the meat and potatoes of the game is. Um, and, and yeah. Uh, to your point, Ven, uh, they probably did try it internally, and the reason that they've been very, very quiet this whole time is because they went, oh shit, I guess it is that easy. Yeah, it, it, it uh. probably does work. I should pro- I should I should actually pull in this uh, that would require installing Vermintide 2 again but I should actually pull this in and see if it uh, we can connect to an online server if they uh, make that branch public. It could be interesting. It boils back to what I was saying earlier. It rolls back to what I was saying earlier is um you know don't talk shit. Developers, game companies like just be like hey we if if, if the Vermintide folks be like no nah, we're not really looking into the proton thing right now. Done. Converse, would not be having this conversation right now. We're like, oh, look, they're thinking about enabling. Like, now we're like, oh, oh, did somebody fucking <laughs> RTFM a little bit? I'm like, oh, okay, we just do the and thing. If you're going to talk shit, someone's going to call you out, and you just happen to be called out by, you Love. know, the platform owners. <laughs> like, really? The people that actually put in the work to say, no, this is how this works. I can just imagine having to be at somebody if I was like, we got to make it easier? <laughs> What? <laughs> How? <laughs> the let, fuck do you want listen, me to do? Do you want me to go to your house every, and click your mouse yes. for you? <laughs> every time you try to make something more idiot proof, the universe will simply just produce a better idiot. So Dude, there's no there's no real way to win. At this, this. point, the idiots have been weaponized. It's not idiots. It's, it's there, there's a gang of problems, and we're not talking necessarily stupidity. What I'm saying is, that I understand the drive behind or like the thought process behind a developer or a publisher to like we don't want to tangle with the proton thing right now. Just Make sure your mouthpiece says, we don't want to tinker with the proton thing right now. And leaves mm-hmm. it at that. So they're not in this situation. We're like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, we're going to no, wait no, and see. No oversharing. It's the whole, we're going to wait and see how this goes. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, uh, speaking <laughs> of overshared, this segment has been overshared. Oh, yeah. Coming up next, you want to install some COG games on Linux? <laughs> Well, contrary to popular <laughs> opinion, you actually can No, now. you're going to uh, summon the GOG police. Well, uh, the, unfortunately, Risk of Rain 2 still does not have a Linux version, so I guess we can just uh, Smash skip that this whole thing. Button, yeah, <laughs> skip this whole thing and get to the bit where we thank you for watching, and those of you crazy enough who decided, you know what, just watching is not enough. I'm going to fund these idiots. It's an adv- it, it- <laughs> Yeah, buy a bunch of games on our humble yes. store thank our, you our humble affiliate Whoever link. was like yeah. hammering our humble uh, affiliate link thank you very yeah, much for that thank you <laughs> pedro it's an investment into entertainment fair a, <laughs> I, I i would argue it's probably a more sound investment than crypto but if you want to send us our crypto head on over to patreon.com slash <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or where they totally accept cryptocurrency there. Yeah, no, absolutely not. But you can get some other cool stuff like access to our Discord channel, which you can also get by uh, subbing to us on Twitch, Twitch. Did you see the thing, um, like why Valve uh, gave, gave me a statement about like, why, why didn't we ever use crypto? And he's like, we didn't want to have to deal with somebody like, why did I just pay $480 for a game? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or like, all of the shady actors, which are especially active in that market segment yeah, yeah it, it makes sense to be like yeah, no we're not we're not gonna do with it we make enough money there's a new sale on by the way uh no no sales on uh, linux gamecast though but we are for sale micro to microsoft uh anyways uh yeah patreon get some cool stuff uh access to the pre-pre super shows in uh that's an extra hour of content we do you can also listen to us live on patreon doing that um or on discord doing that rather through by linking your account via Patreon. Uh, you got a custom RSS feed for that as well. Ven puts up interfacing Linux videos early. Uh, is there a new one coming out soon? Is there one in the pipe? Yeah, 
Yep. Um, I'm still in the process of, um, I, I was chip hunting up. I got the one for the Digigram, then Promising, and it's just taking a lot longer than I expected because I have to double and triple test these things. Is one thing I hate is a half ass review of anything. So, I mean, I even tore down Threadbooper to test to make sure a small problem, which isn't small at all, that I was having with um, Jackbox was reproducible in Threadripper. And it was. So, um, okay. Stay tuned for that. That is going to be a fun video, especially that Digigram like reshared my first post about it and they started following me on Twitter. Bad idea. Oops. Yeah. Uh, Oopsies. <laughs> I enjoy doing Wait. those, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> we got a bunch of that stuff. But as Jordan said, man, come hang out with us in Discord if you are a Twitch sub or a patron, but we are always live on IRC, which is also tied into our live Discord. So, hey, not on, be well there. Uh, yeah. Look. Linux Gamecast at irc.libra.chat. That's that right. is correct. And uh, another thing we do is uh, we're the Filthy Casuals. If you're looking for some casual racing, we do that every Tuesday. We sit and we pick out tracks. We have some fun. We vote on them. And the ones that win end up at a points match at the end of the week on Friday. You don't have to be good. And that's kind of the whole point about this is just who can crash around the least and try to get to the end. Talk some smack. <laughs> Make it to the end. Have some Woo-hoo. fun. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we're playing a nine-year-old racing title that is uh, works out of the box on Proton. we got a custom Linux server that I set up, and it's doing its thing. So having a good time with it. Having a good time with it. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, all sort, also, I do some uh, multiplayer games on Thursday, so if you want to RSVP for that. I'm thinking maybe we're gonna, maybe at some point we're going to do this. we got to do uh, Serious Sam 4 and Siberia Sam. i got a friend of mine who I traditionally play these games with. Maybe I'll get him on and we'll mm. do that. He's also a Linux user, so uh, yeah. Old buddy of mine from the Fedora days. Uh, anywho, uh, we got a store as well. Store.linuxgamecast.com. You can buy your filthy LGC apparel for your filthy LGC body and cover yourself up. Uh, put your... Put my face right in your cleavage put frank right in your cleavage or put a little penguin uh, penguin beak right in your cleavage so much cleavage all around we got hellox stickers we got hellox hoodies uh coffee cups good stuff decent quality decent quality i still have my uh use me penguin shirt and i still wear it to much to the chagrin of my coworkers. Uh, <laughs> uh, confused and anger those around you yes Indeed. Uh, and of course, we got the wish zones. If you go to linuxgamecast.com, put your mouse over the support button. I got one. Jill has one. Pedro has one. Ven has one for the studio. If you put, if you get uh, Ven some stuff, you get your name in lights behind his head. Um, there's only there's only one more slot left before, I don't know, Ven, Ven will have to bisect the board or some some kind of strategy. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Well, they, they it's going to be horrifying. Side, but yeah, if you want that bottom spot, it better be something juicy. It better be something that's also not a pain in the ass. Not too many P's or Q's, any, any, any <laughs> letters that go low. Um, but yeah, uh, you can buy us some stuff off there. Um, yeah, uh, Ven, Ven has mostly studio stuff. I have a bunch of random shit. Pedro has all of Nori stuff, and Jill has a bunch of pink fluffy things. It's good stuff. It is brilliant. We thank you for your Nori support, stuff. allowing <laughs> us to do what we do and bring this to you each and every week. Um, Head over to our web zone, LinuxGameCast.com. You don't need an ad blogger. We don't have ads. We don't have ads in the uh, podcast. So, I mean, it's there. We host it. We're not tracking anything. It's not going through, like, whatever is the podcast host for this week. And we're available everywhere. Um, they'll allow us, basically. <laughs> Pods are casted, pretty much. Yeah, Pods are casted. <laughs> <laughs> .org. Uh, video version is available. I keep mentioning, forgetting to mention this kind of on purpose, but we also host uh, HD and SD versions of the video with an RSS feed. If you just don't, you know, you're like, I'm not into this YouTube thing. That's cool. And uh, everything is mirrored on our Odyssey channel, which we have one of those as well. There. Nice. Everywhere we're, that you we're, might we're, we're Nixon's nice. Pyramids neighbor. We're like yes. the Nixon Sphinx. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Let, let's let's get into it. So there is no way to play GOG games on Linux. You must install Windows. Yes. That is that is a hard fact brought to you by the folks at GOG. But the uh, the folks at Heroic uh, have um, uh, seem to have a differing opinion. Uh, they have a new version of the Heroic Launcher at version 2.2.0. I was kind of hoping it was 2.2.2 for 2.2.2.2.2, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it now supports downloading games via the Galaxy API on Windows and Mac, but it will use the offline installers for Linux. Um, you can pick a game's language. And the neat thing here is, uh, which I think is really cool, is uh, being able to use the Steam Linux runtime for Heroic. Heroic games. I think that's really neat um, because, you know, there are a lot of um, 
There are a lot of Linux games on GOG that have libraries that are, let's call them old, and so does the Steam runtime, so it will actually work sometimes. Um, yeah. Also, see Frenchie's previous comment or Pedro's very, very offensive reading of therein. No, I was just uh, like really curious. Um, I have been paying I a lot of attention to that. <laughs> Frenchie Strider, you're watching right now. Uh, Lutris does all the Gug stuff now too, right? Yes. So that's pretty neat. Um, I'm happy to see that. Now, all I can say to this is absolutely good because here's what I want. I want clients like Lutris and Heroic Scheme. I want them to eat that market up. For launching God game, God games, because uh, you know, eventually God is going to bend the knee. I mean, if the deck does moderately well, they're going to be driven by the money, financial incentive to get something like the Gal- Galaxy client. And I want that market to be filmed. Like, why would we install the official version, God? Like the, <laughs> the, the one that better. doesn't support incremental updates anyway. So if we're going to download the fucking game yeah. over and over, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, the problem with the Galaxy client is that it will get a lot of people using it because there are a lot of games that rely on that particular API to do their multiplayer. No Man's Sky. Uh, that, the, that, that is why uh, I paid for a copy of Shadow Warrior 2 after getting it for free on GOG. Hi. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. Everyone, oh, GOG doesn't have any DRM. Yeah, and yet you call Steam DRM because you need it for the multiplayer. So what the fuck? fuck do you call gog's implementation shut up why do you hate freedom <laughs> oh, man. but uh, no going back to heroic i i do appreciate that um you don't have to use it even if you don't have an epic account uh you can just use it for gog you can just sign in with your gog account and now heroic is your gog client that's great that's pretty good that's pretty dope <laughs> i'm glad to see it now Let's talk about Anti-Micro X. That's something you probably haven't heard of in a long time. Anti-Micro! It's been a minute. (laughs) X is going to give it to you. It's been a minute, because gather around, Jordan, let me tell you about a time on Linux when gamepads just straight up didn't work. You'd say things like, hey, Iculus, how come Braid gamepad support doesn't work? And you're like, ha, 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 ha. Like, that's not funny. But apps like Anti-Micro X have their uses even in modern times. They do. Allowing people to play the retro games, you know, old um, like Loki titles and stuff like that with controllers. But there's a bunch of neat things that you can do on top of that, like even map, like mouse, dribble inputs, script inputs to your gamepad as well. Hell, you can even do like assign multiple switchable sets, mappings to your gamepad. It's like stuff I'm not interested in. But somebody's like, wait, what? Really? Get on it. Did I mention it even has profiles? Now, the new version has got some hot new stuff in it, though, right? Oh yeah, it's. I mean, it's, it's, it's got some. It's got some fairly minor stuff, like a fancy new tray icon, and uh, the Debian. You say that's minor. <laughs> listen, listen, man. I see things in black and white because I've stared at the sun for far too long. Uh, and so it is a tray icon, don't show. so it is tiny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, also, also, uh, if you're on Debian, you're using the uh, Deb for package. Uh, there's a new version check, so it will let you know if there is a new version available. Yeah, you don't I, have I to go and check this. manually anymore. Thank you. <laughs> SDL2 game controller mapping string. Oh, dude. That, yeah. No, before Steam input, this was the thing that people used to map keyboard input to controllers. The, that was the only thing, really. <laughs> it's very nice. It's, it's good to see that they're, despite um, Steam input sort of becoming ubiquitous for the Linux gaming crowd nowadays, um, it, it's good. That they're still actively working on it. It's very nice. So what do you think <laughs> is going to be the competitor to um, Steam input? Do you think we're going to get GOG input or Epic input? <laughs> That'll require GOG uh, to do I'm, anything. I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying to think of like a good name they could use. Like Epic Fingers or um, t- 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 Tim's Middle Finger. I don't know. Tiny Tim's. <laughs> Tiny Tim's Finger Brigade. I don't, I don't oh, fucking know. Oh, no. Timmy Taps. Tim, Timmy Taps. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Marketing. Call oh, me. I'll man. license it to you. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, there is something to be said, though. I mean, like, what do you get for your 30% cut from Steam? You get things like the Steam Deck getting released, so people are going to buy more stuff, but you also get input and all the back end sound. <laughs> That, that easy anti-cheat stuff yeah. that now just works under just Linux. Works. But we're a bunch <laughs> of hipsters. All we do is sit around and play. Our retro is so get off my fucking lawn. It's weird. 
but it's true. Retro gaming consoles like the N64. Oh, uh, not going to talk about uh, hyper hypogonia first. Oh, we got to talk about hypogonia. Yeah, we got to type or hi- talk about hypergonadia. Tell, tell us about your giant balls, Pedro. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, that's why you can't see from below here. The uh, th- this is an open source deck builder that's been heavily inspired. I tried by to Slay spare the everyone Spire. the card deck builder. Stuff. It's time yes. to duel, Ben. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it is, uh, the developers are currently looking for people to do like, uh, more cards, uh, card art, uh, develop a campaign, basically everything (laughs) that seems to be just the one person that's currently doing everything. So it's like, I, I need help, please. Uh, and it's yeah no the, the inspiration of Slate Aspire is very obvious from the uh, the UI and how they decided to lay things out, but the name it, it, it it's hip, hip, they hip actually have, is it, yeah uh, they they have the uh, the etymology of the name at one point and I'm like that doesn't make any sense. Also, it's a bad name. <laughs> yeah, just just like could hypergonadism. could have gone with the hypnagogia, which is an actual thing. You but, didn't need the agony bit there. <laughs> there's agony. There's pain. But you know, you know what? There there is there is some pain if you try to use the browser version, which runs like poop. But you know, it's always nice to have a try before you buy option. Um, and you know, browser versions have, have improved that. And I hope Godot really does improve. I mean, the, uh, it's currently available in itch. Browser. Yeah, I mean, somebody's it's testing free. out like the exports with a Godot and um. Yeah. You know, I like, I tried it out. Lightning Ball Power Nine Thousand doesn't sound well. Actually, it's probably a better name than Hyper. <laughs> yes. What, 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 wasn't wasn't that a bound like uh, they can see the road that they walk on? Is that <laughs> okay? No, call um, it the Lightning Card Nine Thousand. There, there you go. There's your but card yeah, game the, name. Uh, I I, pl- I played a little bit of it. Yep, it plays a lot like Slay the Spire. Or actually, I, I played more Grifflands than Slay the Spire at this point. So I'm like, oh yeah, it's just like Grifflands, which is ripping off Slay the yeah. Spire. Uh, <laughs> very relaxing piano music as well. Uh, I, it's it's a good project. I like I like me some card games, and I love to see people working on new card games. It's mm-hmm. good stuff. It's but, a card game. I'm, but, it's not my jam. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, now we can talk about hipster retro gaming. <gasps> yes. For the Nintendo 64. The things on the, the browser. Fi- <laughs> the the first the first real console I actually owned. Um, I had a Game Boy before that, but that's I mean it's more powerful than the NES. But whatever. N sixty four Wasm. It's done in Web Assembly because why not? I totally want to play Smash in my browser. Uh, and yeah, they have Wait, they have you some want to stuff. Smash in your browser? <laughs> yeah, that's 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 why I'm on OnlyFans. I, I couldn't find it. It was either that or you wanted to smash Bowser. Also yes. Right. Listen, I'm 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 a very also extremely guy. sexy. If the internet's anything to go by, that's that's Bowsette. Uh, that's only if he gets the, <laughs> the the crown or whatever. But you know you know this I'll, I'll save you my hentai fan fiction for labor <laughs> late later. Um. Anyways. Uh. So yeah. There's uh, controller support, uh, save states, but you need to host your own if you want save state support. There's a little thing in here that made me want to vomit where they're like, yeah, if you want to actually debug this thing, you're going to need to install, set up the Windows build environment. So I got to go throw up. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Um, ha- having browser based emulation, we've seen other um, a lot of a lot of like the the e- e- emu paradise and whatever they have uh, browser based emulators. It makes it more readily available to play fun games, right? Never a bad thing. I look at so something like this. Out. I'm yeah, there will be a link in the show notes. It's netlib.net uh, n64 wasm. But I'm looking at the screen, and it's like drag and drop your N64 ROM file here. Now there's even an option to remap your buttons. That hurts my brain. That hurts my brain because I remember when the N64 was first launched and that was before I had a 3DFX Voodoo One card. And it's like, holy shit, you can do this on a console now? Fuck. All right. Well, I guess I might have to buy a console. This is next level type. And we had web browsers at the time. You know, we had Netscape 2 or 3 or whatever it was. Navigator, but, yeah. Yeah. Ice Weasel. And so I'm thinking about like, trying to explain that to myself, who was, I was never, I was never really into the Nintendo thing, but I had a friend and I played the Ocarina of Time and all that. But just getting that concept, like, yo, just drag that into your web browser and you can, like, you can play games in a web browser. Like you have to, like, what, what did we, during launch, here's the games that we had back then. Yahoo. We had pool. We had checkers. We had chess. Poker. Poker. Yahoo Poker. Yep. 
that mm-hmm. was it, man. So mm-hmm. just the thought of this existing kind of blows my mind. It's kind of neat. Yeah. And you don't like, even need to install Java. <laughs> Dude, Crazy, you just, right? Yeah. <laughs> you just go to the Nintendo store. No Java, no you, Flash. You head over to the Nintendo <laughs> store and you buy your Nintendo ROMs that Nintendo sells at a reasonable price, like five ninety nine dollars a piece. Yeah. And you drag them in your <laughs> Yeah, wouldn't that be fucking weird, Nintendo? What did Ah, they would actually uh, make so much money with that. But no, uh, no, we're Nintendo. Yeah, we're yeah, hey, thicker man, than a bag of hammers. Nobody has draconian <laughs> control over their IP like Nintendo. I mean, yeah. that, that's well, well, the bar. And Nintendo's lawyer is going to sue you. <laughs> and brag about oh. it after they get you in four years yeah. in prison. I'm like, yeah. yeah. What was it? Uh, nin- nin- the hard hard drive uh, hard times article where it's like, Nintendo introduces the classic cease and desist. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, mm. That was pretty good. But before this turns into Linux bash Nintendo cast, <laughs> coming up next, uh, we're throwing chairs at not Fallout. It's definitely not Fallout. Welcome back to the Chairquisition. This week, we're taking a look at X-Men Doom something or other. Uh, Beyond Manti- Mankind, The Awakening, developed by Britton Walda. I really hope I got that right. Done on the Unity Engine. You can pick it up for about 20 bucks. Um, what is it? Beyond Man- Mankind, The Awakening is an indie old school type RPG taking place in a post apocalyptic world. The game sports a mature and deep narrative, rich exploration, tense combat, and immersi- mer- immersive RPG mechanics. What is this? You might ask. This is the Chairquisition, where we take uh, we take a game, we install it on a bunch of different Linuxes using very very similar hardware up until Q2 2022, when Intel comes out with some GPUs, um, and then uh, we tell you how we what we thought. We rate it on a scale from scale for of one to four chairs, which in the grim, dark, apocalyptic future is the only currency you can use so to buy food. So do you absolutely food. predict the future? Room? Like, yeah, so you got the Intel card? Yeah, I got one too. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> you, motherfucker, you think I have money to buy an Intel card? I'm, no. no. Um, yeah, uh, mandatory disclosure. Uh, Brighton Walda did send us some keys for this, so thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, so on... KDE Neon, basically Ubuntu with some extra steps. How'd it run, Pedro? It, uh, well, you, uh, you're seeing it on screen. That, 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 that's my video that you, um, are watching. It, uh, launched out of the box with the GTX 1080 and the Ryzen 7 3700X. It barely hits 50 on most occasions at 2560 by 1440 with everything on the high preset. It's, uh, the, the controls are very much a wasp slash cursor key type of situation. You can rebind most of everything from what I saw of the options screen. And the voice acting was actually better than what I expected. The voice actors themselves often corrected the little grammary cock-ups in the writing, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, but yes, the, the, the graphics, well, you're, you're looking at them. That's, um, very 2007-ish. As for the fun... It's unintentionally funny. Uh, the I've mentioned the voice actors delivering lines better than they were written, but there's also the clear amount of dedication and work that went into making uh, Beyond Mankind. <laughs> and it was made by a group of people who were clearly in over their heads, but they weren't about to let that stop them. And I applaud them for that. Seriously, major kudos. It's like there were two people in the team. One really liked Stalker and the other one really liked Mass Effect. And they made a mishmash of those two games, and this is what turned out. I don't hate it. I don't. I genuinely don't. It runs like poop, yes, but I don't hate it. In fact, I caught myself just playing the game until I ran into the first pale sack. That's what they call the um, humans that survive the medicine slash virus situation that the intro of the game talks about. Yeah, uh, it, it that bit broke my immersion because I unloaded 12 shotgun shells directly into his head and he just kept coming. He wouldn't die. I had to basically switch to one of the melee weapons and kite him around the room until he finally dropped dead. That, that kind of uh, bullet spongy bullshit is why I stopped Borderlands, all of the Borderlands games, basically. I stopped halfway through and this is why I stopped here. I don't hate the story, but uh, Jordan will bring up the point that there's a lot of needless exposition. Again, you have a video game. You can show me what's happening. Even better, you can let me play 
through what's happening. You can make me a part of it. You don't need to spend 20 minutes in a dialogue three, uh, dialogue tree explaining shit to me via text. Yeah. Three chairs. <laughs> I wish it was a, I wish it was a dialogue tree. It was just being monologued at. Anyways. Yeah. On Fedora 35, <laughs> uh, 64 bit with the R9 3900 X and GTX 1080 Ti. Um, yeah, it, it launches. Uh, one thing to note, uh, you can only change your resolution in the menu. You cannot do this in game. So if you realize that the game is running like poo poo at UHD, uh, cause yeah, it struggles to hit 45 FERPs at UHD. Uh, you, you might think, oh, maybe I'll bump it down to 1080p. Yeah. You got to save and quit before you can do that. Um, it gets 90 plus on 10 at 1080p sometimes with vSync off, depending on what hallway you're in. And it really does depend on what hallway you're in. Cause a lot of them look fucking <laughs> identical and they have substantial <laughs> performance deltas. Um, this is some like Xbox 360 goodness in the looks department. Very, very oblivion esque. I want to say, um, not quite as upsettingly ugly as an Elder Scrolls character, but they got kind of close. Um, the voice acting is pretty mad, but like Pedro said, there's really only so much you can do with the dialogue. Oh, and it's his ham fisted. That intro segment is long. You see, there's this, there's this thing in writing and storytelling called show don't ha- tell. And there has to be a better way to expose you to the steady state world, sort of what's going on in the world. Um, rather than giving you sitting you down for 30 minutes of non-stop mon- non-stop monologuing, or you can occasionally pick a dialogue option where I mostly ended up just like hitting hitting on everyone because they give you they immediately give you the flirt option. So I'm like, yep. well, obviously I have to be a giant whore and seduce everyone. Um, yeah, but it's 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 very much not Fallout Three. The dialogue system here really does remind me of that. Um, or oblivion um same same thing pretty much same um, thing <laughs> i yeah uh, let, 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 let's be real let's be real bethesda fans um i went through the character creator i thought they were gonna f- straight up fucking go full-on eugenics on us for a second but they did pull away from it at the last minute they did do the different stats for different genders thing not a big fan of that whatever i can put past it man those rats though once you get into the game proper um yeah the animation on those is not good or not present um also, pro tip, because I got eaten by rats during the tutorial, because uh, I didn't collect the ammo of the soldiers I had to fight. Uh, ammo and resources don't persist across reloads. So if you run out of ammo and then you die, you're fucked. You have to go back to a previous save point uh, in order where you had ammo in order to do the thing properly, which I thought was very, very annoying. There's a bunch of nanny bars here, but it's a survival game. Maybe your mileage will vary on it. Gameplay-wise, it feels all right. It's very stretched out, though. There's... I don't, I don't know. I feel like maybe they were going for uh, a game that you could spend hours in, like a Fallout or like a Skyrim. Um, but that basically just means there's a lot of walking and a lot of like redshift running because sprinting really changes how the camera looks. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Nothing in here really hooked me. But like Pedro said, there's a ton. There's a ton of effort put into it. The devs seem to be over their heads. Hopefully they can. Hopefully they can pull something out of it. Um, the writing is always going to be a weak point, but yeah, I'm gonna give it two chairs. All right, so I gotta give you my hot take on this. I'm gonna do it in three minutes. I probably can. It launches out of the box, has all the basic settings that you would expect, like Jordan pointed out. If you're in game, you can't change that resolution. It's got all the sights and the sounds. Now, once in game, you will start digging around in the graphics because it struggles to hit 60 on a 2060 and NVIDIA 2060 at 1080p. I had to dial the pretty all the way down to fugly, and that kind of kept me around 60 for the most part. I dare you to notice the difference, though, in the quality. It's <laughs> Typical Unity stuff. It is fully voice acted, but only in the sense that someone was given lines and the job of reading the lines in front of them, which they did. So, well enough. That intro, yeah. You you can summarize that 30 minute long, like, here's everything that's going down, which is done well enough. I'm going to say it's one of the better parts of the game. As like X-Men, Mad Max, Halo, plus Doom 3 airlock sequence. Done. Look at that. We cut, we cut that down to just a few seconds. And, um, I got about an hour into the game. And according to the forum post, that's one third of the content, which was replied to by the developer who said, well, you didn't do all the dialogue options and all the extra. He's like, no, I just played it to get to the end. He's like, yeah, it's about three hours tapping up. So yeah, if you're going to play a game like me, you're going to vend your way through it. Get about three hours worth of content in 1999. Now, during my playthrough, I poked around the house, I drink some beer, 
killed a few rats. Then I go next door and I get my first fetch quest. I'm like, yeah, it's this type of game, dialogue options, killed some more rats, read a wall, unlocked a door that used um, alpha characters, which I was like, that's kind of novel. But then uh, this was all to get a fusion powered moon tablet, which, ooh, it's got spooky stuff on it. Then not daddy. What, what were we referring to? Not daddy as? P- P- Peter. Peter. Oh man, that's scene where he gets shot in the head. is fucking <laughs> hilarious. He's like, oh, oh uh, yeah, uh, not daddy gave me a mission. Shit went down. I got killed a couple times. So I realized I could just jog through that entire nonsense. Then I ran off and got quest number two from the other person. that says, go in the house, do this thing. Uh, here's where I kind of lost it because I ran into a couple of the big doges and, um, I killed the first one, had the ammo and the second one. I didn't have any ammo left. So I noped right into a house and up the stairs, like a normal responsible human being faced with an oversized doge, a zombie looking doge. And, uh, I, then I watched it try to make its way up the stairs and there was no animation while it was spinning in circles while the pathfinding was trying. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> one should not be laughing out loud during this post-apocalyptic thing. And I was, I absolutely was. I just lost my shit on that. Um, as both Pedro and Jordan have pointed out, there's a clear attempt to tell a story here. But Beyond Mankind is an example of ambitions outweighing ability. It is. Uh, we can all we can all see the drive and the desire like leaking through into this. I'm like, man, you really put a lot of work into this. Uh, but between the performance issues, this is kind of a generic story, and just like the gunplay is just dead. I mean, it's there, pew 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 action. I want to say, give this one. A little bit of a, the, yeah, just hard pass. Not even a little bit, hard pass. At 1999, I appreciate, again, the effort that went into this game, but it feels and looks like something from 20 years ago. It does. You might miss when you take big swings like this, but, hey, at least you took the swing on this. Do you, and, you know, it works. It works. There's some performance that needs to be made up. I'm going to give it two cheers. But what I want to say is, we can all appreciate what was attempted here, right? Yeah, they're they're they oh, were yeah. trying to go for like a, like a like a proper Bethesda style RPG, and they didn't they didn't succeed. But also, Bethesda has you know millions of dollars of resources, and, and they like take a decade of programmers. Uh, yeah. yeah, and th- yeah. they release the same <laughs> game for over and over and over again, so that they don't actually have to make they anything just update new. Update the engine, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, no, this is actually reminds me more of the first Stalker games, the jank of the uh, the guns and the way that you interact with the world and the way that the world is structured. There's a lot of loading screens in between the different areas. Yeah. It, oh, it, yeah. Loading times. It, 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 it's, oh, boy. Yeah. It's it's very stalkery in that way, although it didn't crash anywhere near as much as Stalker. The performance was eh, about on par, but didn't crash quite so much, which... I appreciate it. Yeah, the performance there really were, there, remi- there were- reminded me of like the earlier <laughs> Unity titles we'd see on Linux that were just yes. like, depends on where you were looking, was uh, the difference between mm-hmm. 20 and 40 frames per second difference. The, there were there were a couple moments where I thought it did crash, but then it's just like, no, we're good. Also, can 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 I just pour one out? Uh, T for Twitch. I mean, flashlight. Uh, and, right, uh, yeah, no. F, F, no. F for E. Well, because yes. they have the they have the tilt with Q and E, which yeah. I, I get. Yeah, why yeah the that, E but. is for the head lean, which I always I never use that. It's like, why? No. Why? <laughs> no, it's not 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 very useful. I kind but it's, more, I, it's more realistic. Well, I kind of like what we're looking at in the video right now. I was like, well, that's a novel idea. Well, for when you go to your inventory, it like lays everything out. Then it's like, oh, and yeah. it stretches out. If you have like a backpack, uh, the camera angle is slightly further back, so it actually has a bigger inventory mm-hmm. that the it, there's a lot of effort put in here it right. didn't work but there's a lot of effort here <laughs> yes so, <laughs> to, 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 to the to the writer i would i would just say for your next project brevity is the soul of wit yeah mm-hmm. it's uh <laughs> again we, we can all see what was attempted so yes. it's just didn't really gel and 1999 for three hours uh I mean, all I can do is speak for me. You know, I don't go back and I, side quests don't fucking exist in my world, son. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just tried to seduce everyone because that's all the side quests I was given. Just like, yeah, try and bang this person. Yeah, the side quests are either like collect a thons or fetch quests. Uh, but yeah, it is fairly linear. It's, it's all just corridors. Find the right way forwards and away you go. Mm. 
Yes. Well, I mean, you're going to give the best boss book. This is the genre that Pedro, this is his jam, like between this genre and Dark Souls, whatever genre that is, self-hatred. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah, no, it is, it is very stalker-like, very stalker light. I should say. It's a stalker light. Because, yes. Yeah, it is a stalker light because apparently it's very, very short. But it is very much that kind of game. So if you like that and you'd like to, maybe if this is something and you want to support the team and you maybe want to get them to carry on with their game making endeavor, pick it up. You know, I, yes, I, I, maybe, 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 maybe uh, wait until it goes on sale. Got immersed maybe in wait it. There's something point, to be but, said for, yes, uh, you know, <laughs> I want to play Metro. We have Metro at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Metro at home. <laughs> I stole that from Beastwick. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Well, coming up next, we're talking about the real Portuguese, the hate mail segment. Uh oh. Well, uh, looks like the Portuguese pronunciation has finally caught up with me, but we'll get to that in a moment. It's the hate mail. Yes. How does it like to. Uh, in Portuguese. It, it, it worked. Well, it I works. I mute him. Poorly. <laughs> <laughs> No, but then we could do the subtitles. We could make them say whatever the fuck we want, right? Like, yeah. I need to get this out at a reasonable time, and that will take too much time, and I will be forced. I will nay, nay, nay obligated to do those subtitles. I know, <laughs> uh, and I will be saying even naughtier things than I usually do. But hey, if you'd like to get in touch, by all means, uh, do share your naughty bits. Uh, no, not those uh, naughty uh, stories, maybe. Uh, LinuxGameCast.com had the contact button. There's some caveats at the top. Nothing about naughty bits there, but there should be. Uh, make sure LGC Weekly is the uh, show that you're sending your message to. Otherwise, we, well, Jordan may think it's relationship advice, or uh, Ven and Jill may think that it's some feedback for the Wednesday show. So keep that in mind. Hey, here's what I want. <laughs> if you got some thoughts in the Steam Deck, that's what I want to hear from you. Long time Linux users. What do you think about the Steam Deck? Now, we try to interact during the show. It's kind of hard because when we're filming and stuff gets lost in the ether, you know, during the intermission. So, yeah, share your thoughts on that. You can leave a comment on if Patreon you- post or the YouTube video as well. Those will be mined for something that might resemble gold. Now, I had to look this one up. I was digging around in a hate mail folder, and I, I found one from That's Brazilian again. Talking about pronunciation on episode 491. Now, unfortunately, I didn't read the very beginning of that, which I went, wait a minute, when did we say this? And I searched. Fortunately, our search engine works on the site. And 491, and I had to go back and watch this. What was this about, Jordan? Uh, this is about the uh, game we're throwing chairs out, Buck Up and Drive. Uh, so, as the Brazilian again says again, on LGC Weekly 491's chair position, you relied on Pedro's pronunciation of the developer's name, Fabio Fonch. Fonch. Uh, I tried to look up Fabio to find out his nationality, but I couldn't find anything. Anyways, just to stir the, just to stir the pot, I want to go on record and say that the name in Brazil, where this is also a fairly common name, Jordan's pronunciation is closer to a native speaker's Fontes. Uh, so there, you, there, there you go. Um, real Portuguese strikes again. Okay, it's literally down to the second name, and it's Font versus Fontes. Uh, so Fun- yeah, you Fontes. take your pick. <laughs> what was that, Jordan? I couldn't hear you. We're halfway across the room. I said font. I said font cheese. Font cheese. Font, font cheese. cheese. You know, it's, it's really hard to install in Linux because you know fonts in Linux are are difficult. Um, okay, here's like a real question, Port. Um, yes, here's a real question, Portugal. Um, is, is how many? Okay, like could you name one, two glaring pronunciation differences between Brazilian Portuguese and regular Portuguese? Uh, like there's I, like uh, me, non-Portuguese, uh, wouldn't even be able to tell they were the, supposed to be the same word. Uh, it, it mostly comes down to uh, the way, like, if you have an E or an I after a consonant, like a hard consonant, like a T, for example, uh, then you would give it a bit of more of an inflection, like font versus font cheese. 
So I, I I have a question. So you know you know how there's like sort of an accent equivalency, like in in the Japanese mm-hmm. animes, they use like a Kansai dialect in exchange in in replacement for like a hey how how you doing? Uh, what would what would, what would sort of be that equivalent? Uh, <laughs> he thought depends. he was getting out of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that very much depends because um, if it is. Most of like the Brazilian dupes, they usually use like the North East uh, Brazilian accent to sort of create that. Um, okay, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go out on a fucking treacherous <laughs> limb. The fuck is a Northeast Brazilian accent, man, compared to a Western? Uh, it, it is very much that. Uh, Examples uh, help. <laughs> We, 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 just, we just want to make that accent reliably. Do, <laughs> do, the then do the it joke. badly. Then do it badly. <laughs> it's, um, um, they cut words in half. Uh, the, the, they skip a lot of the syllables. Uh, <laughs> um, they replace words entirely with others. Like, for example, uh, the, the sentence in English, uh, my van doesn't have a spare tire. In regular Portuguese, it would be a minha carrinha não tem pneu super slint. Uh, if you wanted to do it in like the northeast Brazilian, it would be um, a minha perua não tem stepi. I heard super slint, and now I'm just like <laughs> trying. I'm imagining like a, like a Game of Thrones character with like superpowers. That, that's 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 where my head's at now. I don't, I don't know, but yeah, it yeah. is like. Portuguese is one of those bullshit languages that's actually very, very difficult. The more you learn about it, the harder it becomes. Uh, And you get taught all 18 verbal tenses for each individual verb in the fucking Portuguese language. Is it like something is indecipherable? Like somebody, let's say somebody from North London was trying to communicate with someone from Wales. No, it's not indecipherable, but if you speak like regular Portuguese accent, uh, you have a thick Portuguese uh, from Portugal accent, and mm-hmm. you go to Brazil and you're just speaking in Portuguese, a lot of Brazilian people will look at you as like, can you say that again, but slower, please? Well, I mean, can't you it just is say it in like language, regular Portuguese but- and just put like y'all at the end? <laughs> Well, I, I, I was going to ask, like, what, what if it's like a, a person from North London trying to talk to an actual whale? Oh! <laughs> no, still the same species, uh, species, but uh, actually Nemo's um, suggestion is not bad. Like Galician um, Spanish, which is a hybrid between Spanish and Portuguese versus actual Spanish. Uh, it is, yeah, th- those are very, very different dialects. <laughs> I but and before this becomes just like a terrible podcast on like linguistics and semiotics, uh, not terrible. Know. You mean poorly done and inaccurate, <laughs> and uh, and terrible. It can it can be it can be more than two things. Then okay, fine. We can add that tag as well. <laughs> Have fun with that tomorrow, Google. Is, 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 is there a terrible? Plus is there a plus. terrible tag in YouTube? Can we can we post shit under terrible? I will. I promise. <laughs> Can you even see the tags in YouTube videos anymore? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I think what about Twitch? Is there is there an awful tag on awful. Twitch? <laughs> Something awful. I don't know. Possibly. <laughs> oh man, on that awful bomb show, we need to bounce out of here. We are running a little bit late, but we mind that for more content than I thought we were going to get out of it. Hey, if you want to get hold of me? I'm just at Vin Stone on Twitter. That's where I'm at, posting shit pretty regularly. I'll get back to you. I'll click on a star or something like that. If you're not into the Twitter thing, we got a federated timeline, mass.linuxgamecast.com. I'm there. I'm just at Vin. Come say hello, and I might approve the currently trending hashtag, which I'm asked to do like every other day. Now, is there anything else? No, I think that's it. That's why I'm doing the things. Say hi in Discord. I'm actually participating in our Discord. I do things and I talk. Yeah. I'm Jordan. Uh, you can tell me what kind of Portuguese accent I have on Twitter at the Burning Fool, at, or on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. And if you'd like to discuss the intricacies of uh, linguistic dialect, by all means, go fuck yourself. Uh, if you'd like to, you know, talk to me about other things, on Twitter at unaccounted for. That's that's actually the best way to get in touch with me all around. Or if you're on Discord, you chat at me there too. 
You're just going to have to figure out how to put the upside down T. I don't want anything other than at replies to Pedro about linguistics tomorrow on Discord. That's all I want to see. <laughs> That's it. Just, just at reply him with the word linguistics 100%. over and over again. <laughs> you will be graciously rewarded. Time for some credits. Mark two of Homebrew. Oh, no. How, how fast is it going to go this time? <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Deep breath. Deep breath. Here we go. Oh, it's so slow. It's even slower than before. Uh, it was too yeah. fast. <laughs> I know. I can't make up my mind. We're going to thank our advisors, Omegas, Artharin, our executive producers, Aldius, Barbram, Scott Michaud, Michael Foxdog, Michael G, Atomic Ass, Michael T, Drummer, Kohaku, and George, and our Chicago Kicks Ass, Little Nicky fans, Darkwing, and Abstraction. Would Where Jack B, uh, Renault, Red, or X back in a trudgy Vertanuda, Justin Frostclaw, and Strider making up the sea monsters? Death and Notes. The Death Notes. Nova K, Basil B, Smashly. Help me out, motherfuckers. Dodge. Everybody say <laughs> Nova K. I hear Nova K. Uh, Rose, I'm turnover. Jesus Christ, and Yannick and Cole. Benjamin. Benjamin. Dirty D. I. Dodger. Das turnover. Cheryl Bring it in the box. Dari. Brockline. Giovanni. Todd. Come on, guys. You gotta help me with the pronunciation on that one. I think it's a good one. Daniel. Boyd Bellrick. AJ. Dorda Dorda Geek. Frezzo. Felicio. <laughs> look at these fuckers. Like Mike, yes. Carl, Mike, or Thurman, Linux, <laughs> Nick, no, and Oogie One. Nautilus, John E. Shemp, and Game Mo Tron. <laughs> Also, if you notice anything in the credits, because I manually move everything over and this, this is not automated, it's missing or it's in the wrong place, fucking send me a note and I'll fix it. Guaranteed. <laughs> Until next week, um, keep your hands on your deck. And at reply Patreon Linguistic. Oh, I don't have one yet. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Toodles. Five dudes. <laughs>